the tech employment landscape has undergone a seismic shift. In 2023 alone, over 186,000 workers in US-based tech companies and those with substantial US operations were laid off. That's a staggering leap from 93,000 job cuts in 2022. Some of the largest workforce reduction occurred in American big tech companies. But this upheaval isn't confined just to the US. It's a global phenomenon with the shock waves reaching Canada too. Major tech firms and even Canadian banks, traditionally seen as the epitome of job security, have not been immune making substantial cuts in their workforce in the last quarter of 2023. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're diving into a critical topic affecting many of us in the tech sector, the current state of the tech job market amidst a global recession. If you're in the midst of job hunting, contemplating a career shift or simply keen on understanding the industry's evolving dynamics, this is a discussion you don't want to miss. So let's explore this together. The tech job market is feeling the pinch across the globe. The reason? We're in a recession and VC-funded companies are tightening their belts. They're looking to extend their financial runway and as a result, put a freeze on hiring. Instead, they're turning to interns to keep things running. But why interns? Well, it comes down to economics. By hiring interns instead of full-time employees, companies can take advantage of tax credits and government grants without having to spend on employee benefits. There's a great article that explains this in more detail and I'll put a link to it in the description below. This shift is also influenced by government policies encouraging co-op programs and internships, leading to a notable rise in these openings even as full-time positions become increasingly scarce. With that said, the job market hasn't completely collapsed There are jobs out there but the rate of hiring has dropped significantly. With so many tech professionals laid off, the job market has flooded with competition. We are at a point where even experienced individuals are applying for entry level roles. This makes it exceptionally challenging for those just starting their careers to even find something. To give you a perspective, as an MSc in applied computing student at the University of Toronto, only about a fraction of my cohort received return offers from the companies where they completed their 8 month long full time internships this in no way means that those who got return offers were just better than the rest instead it just paints a real picture of today's job market so what can you do to land a job in the current market my advice would be to adjust your expectations now might not be the time to land your dream company or job title if you're in urgent need of employment consider broadening your search explore uh, opportunities outside your preferred field and be open to diverse roles that can offer new experiences and growth in these tough times it is best to leverage your existing professional network to get recommendations or referrals to land a job if your professional network is not there yet now's the right time to build it leverage linkedin to reach out to industry professionals who you would like to become in the next 4 to 5 years send them a connection request invite them for a coffee chat and ask them about their work and any tips that they can offer you remember networking isn't just about seeking job referrals it is about cultivating relationships that can offer mentorship and guidance throughout your career building a robust network is a journey not a sprint it requires time patience and consistency but in a job market like this it's one of the most effective strategies for career advancement Another crucial aspect is your resume. Did you know that most mid to large size tech companies use application tracking system or ATS to filter out 75 to 80% of the resumes they receive? Therefore, it is essential to make sure your resume is ATS friendly to even get into the hands of a human recruiter. I've put together an in-depth video on crafting an ATS friendly resume complete with my personal template. You can find a link to this video in the description below. Many of you reached out to me wondering why you're struggling to get interviews. Remember, it is a tough job market. Often, it's not about your resume, it's about the sheer number of overqualified applicants competing for the same role as you. So, if you find yourself struggling to get those interview calls, know that you're not alone in this. Many are facing the same hurdles, but don't let that dishearten you. Use this as an opportunity to refine your approach. explore new strategies to make your application stand out networking as i mentioned earlier can also play a crucial role here opening doors the traditional applications might not in conclusion navigating these challenging times require a mix of pragmatism and resilience embrace the opportunities that come your way no matter how small they might seem your professional network is a valuable asset now more than ever 
Utilize it not just for job leads, but also for support and advice. Remember, the job market is like a pendulum. It will rebound and opportunities will rise again. I understand that these times can be disheartening. It is easy to feel overwhelmed or lose hope when the responses to your applications are few and far between. But I urge you, don't give up to despair. Stay consistent in your job hunt, keep refining your skills and remain open to learning and growing. Every application, every interview is a step forward, a learning experience. Your persistence and adaptability are your strongest allies, right? Let me know your thoughts and experiences regarding your job search in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more such content. Thanks for watching and remember, you're not alone in this journey. We're all in this together and we'll get through this together. See you in the next video.